Hello, welcome to the TechnoCamp's introduction to Adobe Animate. What we have here is what we're looking at when we open Adobe Animate for the first time. And we are presented with some tutorials built into the, pro the software that we can follow and start to learn about Adobe Animate, certain concepts that we will cover in the coming videos. For now, we are not going to worry about these. We're going to click skip and we are going to click create new and this will give us the option to make the stage that we are going to animate in. When we click create new, we get presented with this window and we can choose the quality of the output video or animation, whatever it is we end up creating, standard HD, full HD or 4K. And we can choose these presets and that will sort out all these details on the right hand side for us. For example, if I went to a HD video, you'll see that the width and height have both changed as has the platform type. And depending on which one I choose, full HD, for example, the frame rate changes as well. For these videos, I'm going to stick with standard. But again, I can change the width and the height to be whatever I wanted, for example. I'm going to leave it uh, as that just to show. And we can also change the frame rate. I can make this higher or lower. For example, I could change this to 30 if I wanted to. And the frame rate is actually quite important when it comes to animation because the higher the frame rate, the smoother the transition between frames is, the smoother your animation looks. The lower it is, then the choppier your animation becomes. Depending on your style, that might be something that you want. Uh, but for now, for now, we're going to stick with 30 frames per second. Standard animations, anywhere between 24 and 25, maybe 30, somewhere in that region. And the platform type, there are two different ones, HTML5 or Action Script. We're not going to worry about what that is in these videos. So I'm just going to leave mine as HTML5. For what we're going to be talking about, there's no difference. We also have at the bottom some sample files, which again, like the tutorials, come built in and we can use those to learn more about Adobe Animate and the different skills and techniques that you can implement. But again, we're not going to worry about those for now. We're just going to click create and we're going to get the stage that we wanted. So once you've, once you're happy with your settings, you click create. This is the default window that you're presented with. The white square in the middle of the screen, that is your stage. This is where you build your animations. This is where they play out. On the left hand side, we have our toolbar with different icons and different tools we can use. And we'll cover those in a little bit. At the bottom, we have our timeline. This is where our frames and keyframes and things like that will appear. We'll cover that in a bit more detail in our next video. On the right hand side, we have the properties. We have our library and assets. Again, these are things we'll cover in a little bit more detail in later videos. And we have a separate toolbar to the right hand side. This is a more advanced toolbar, which we won't cover just yet. We might get to at a later date. And we can decide what appears here and what doesn't by using the window tab at the top. If I click this, you'll notice I have my edit bar, my timeline, my tools, and my properties. All the things that I've just covered uh, in that brief introduction, all ticked, all highlighted. That means they appear. If I wanted to get rid of them, for example, if I didn't want to see the tools, I could click and my toolbar disappears. If I want it back, go to Windows, click Tools, and it comes back. Likewise, I can bring all of these assets, rig mapping, CC library, and so on, so on. I could bring all of these onto my screen as their own separate tab, if I so wished. For now, I'm just going to leave it with these, because these are the only ones that we'll need in our videos. 
to the left hand side, we have our toolbar. We have our standard selection tool, most useful for grabbing and highlighting things. We have our free transform tool, which we can click. And if we had shapes or images or things like that, we could click and use this free transform tool to change the size, make them bigger, smaller, and so on. Further down, we have things like our uh, brush tools, and our erasers, we have our line tool, we have our pen tool, uh, text. All of these things can be used to draw pictures and, and add to our animations. We also have here our rectangle tool. And you'll note this, there are some of these icons, the select tool, for example, the free transform and the rectangle tool, they all have these small arrows in the bottom right hand corner. These mean that there are extra sections available on these particular tools. For example, my rectangle tool, if I click this, I could use it to draw a rectangle. Wonderful. I'm going to undo that because I don't need that. But if I wanted to say draw a circle, what I would do is I would click and hold and that would open up this options menu where I can choose an oval tool. Now I can draw an oval or a circle instead of a rectangle. And if I wasn't happy with this, I want to make me make it more of an oval shape than a circle. I could go to my free transform tool, click that, click on my circle. And now I can use these points to change its shape. Now it's more oval like. And again, over here in the properties, we now have information about this oval. We've got the width, the height, for the stage color, so on, so on. These things can be changed at a later date as well. <clears throat> okay, so that's the basics of setting up our Adobe Animate stage. Join us in our next video where we'll go over our first animation frame by frame. Thank you.